Our top focus at this hour, the NGT today slammed the Delhi government saying, and I quote here, do not gift infected lungs to children. They have to wear masks to go to school. The National Green Tribunal also said that measures should be applied on their own by the government after levels of a P M2.5 and PM10 persist for more than 48 hours in the national capital. In fact, the NGT earlier pulled up the Delhi government on its modification plea seeking reconsideration of the odd-even scheme. The NGT has asked the Delhi government as to why it cannot run ladies-only buses to solve the problem of transport. And soon after this, the Delhi government uh, in order to prevent further embarrassment withdrew the petition, the NGT has also warned the government now to take care of logical explanations for odd even exemptions when they approach the NGT again. Minakshi has been tracking this closely. Minakshi, is the hearing underway uh, still? What more can you get us from the court? Well, uh, you rightly pointed out, Delhi government clearly has been caught on the back foot because in terms of wordplay, now, perhaps a lot has been showcased and doubted, but in terms of actual ground situation, uh, the situation continues to be as grim and the uh, levels are as uh, as hazardous and that has weighed heavily on the NGT's mind. Mm, like you rightly pointed out, it has uh, made some specific observations uh, to the Delhi government. For instance, and I quote, don't give uh, infected lungs to children, they have to wear masks to go to school and I unquote and this was in context of the NGT uh, questioning the Delhi government as to why it has gone ahead and permitted for schools to be open you know, while the pollution levels continue uh, to remain the same uh, alongside the NGT wanted to understand as to why did the Delhi government wake up so long because this is a situation which has escalated to this extent um, gradually the pollution levels uh, the particles, uh, the pollutants uh, have been steadily rising and uh, subsequent to that, today we are uh, facing this uh, uh, almost crisis-like scenario. So they wanted to understand as to why the Delhi government waited for so long for the situation to deteriorate to this extent before they were prompted into action. And uh, the, the, the NGT today, uh, while concluding the hearing, has also clarified that the industries uh, that are involved in essential commodities have been exempted to carry on with their activity, but the, uh, the, the NGT has made specific directions to these industries uh, whose emissions are limited to the parameters that are allowed to operate uh, subject to verification. Uh, but that apart, uh, there have been uh, some very terse observations uh, and also uh, perhaps a cautionary note for the Delhi government to not just keep uh, uh, talking, but perhaps also uh, pull up its socks and get cracking, uh, be that coordination with the other state governments, be that other effective implementation of measures on ground uh, to uh, prevent these construction activities that are currently underway, to take whatever measures necessary the, and control uh, or curb this rise in pollution levels. Back to you. Absolutely, Minakshi. Uh, NGT not sparing, uh, uh, you know, the Delhi government, they're not showing any leniency and very strong words coming in for the Delhi government there on various accounts. In fact, asking very tough questions to the government, uh, you know, stating that are you doing this for environment or there is some other reason? And with the pollution levels, as you mentioned, in further observation stating that with the pollution levels remaining the same, how have you allowed schools to uh, open again? What is it that uh, you want so these are very strong observations and this has as you mentioned has uh, embarrassed the delhi government on various accounts they're leading them to withdraw the petition altogether for now it remains clear that the odd and even scheme uh, is not to be implemented at least in the days to come till the delhi government huddles together comes up with a logical explanation to present to the ngt well, uh, this will be, the ball now rests in the Delhi government's court because clearly you know, the argument that they were advancing before the NGT about the safety and security concern of the women and therefore seeking for the NGT uh, to uh, withdraw this exemption, no exemption clause, uh, has not met with any resonance today. The NGT wanting to understand as to why was it not possible for the Delhi government to fly just women-only buses uh, in the days of the odd-even scheme implementation. 
So the ball now resting uh, with the Delhi government. The arguments of safety, security of women, uh, and also perhaps uh, looking to appease the two-wheeler uh, voter uh, of the Delhi government, not uh, meeting uh, with much success before the NGT. NGT, like you rightly pointed out, uh, completely, uh, completely adamant about uh, the direction uh, that it has imposed earlier to be implemented on ground. Now, what remains is the coordination, be that between various state governments of Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, uh, or, or the Delhi government itself really taking stock and uh, ensuring that there is uh, there is proper uh, watch on the breach of the NGT guidelines that are taking place across the city. For instance, Miller now has been consistently reporting about the construction activities that are taking place across Delhi in spite of the NGT uh, pulling up the Delhi government, asking them to put a stop to these activities, even uh, asking for the Delhi government to go ahead and impose a fine of rupees, one lakh rupees. Uh, in, in the midst of all that, uh, the situation uh, on the ground continues to be grim, uh, while the chief ministers of Delhi and uh, Haryana continue to exchange war of words uh, amidst each other. Absolutely. But the ball is now uh, in the Delhi government's court, as you mentioned, Minakshi, and how soon can they come up uh, with a logical uh, explanation, as NGT mentioned, uh, to present in front of uh, the National Green Tribunal? Thanks for the moment, Minakshi, for all those inputs. अपनी तो जो मुश्किलें हैं वो तो हैं लेकिन जो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन को हम नुकसान पहुंचा रहे हैं क्योंकि आज की तारीख में छोटे बच्चे बढ़ने वाले बच्चे स्कूल कोई चिल्ड्रन जो स्कूल जाते हैं उन्हीं को जो इतनी तकलीफ होती है और ये जो डिजीजेज हैं वो जिंदगी भर साथ में रहेंगी बीस बाईस तीस साल की अगर उम्र पे बच्चों को लंग डिजीजेज हो जाएंगी तो क्या होगा आफ्टर ऑल आज की तारीख में सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट तो बच्चों की सेहत है हमारे से ज्यादा ये बच्चों की सेहत का ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंस है